Uh, this is John Black, Super Chemist. It's going to be a short video just showing you how, like, if you're looking for a certain chemical, how do you find it in a product? You know what I mean? First thing you do is look up on top here. It says Google Household Products Database. Punch that into Google, and what will happen is it'll be probably the second or the first uh, option, okay? And you'll know it's the option by look at the second group of stuff. Ingredients, NIH household material, safety data sheet, search products, advanced search, ingredients info. The one that has that on it, that's where you want to go. That's what you want to click on Google. That that option that has those six things below it. Okay, so you click on there, household data products database, and you'll see this next thing here, right? Home products manufacture ingredients. That's the t that's their home page. Um, you click on ingredients, and then you'll see next you, you'll have A B C. You have the alphabet written there. Now let's say, because my buddy's looking for toluene, so let's say we're looking for toluene. I click on T and for toluene. I scroll down to where it says toluene, and I click on it. Now you notice the next thing. That's what they'll show you. They'll show you products. A list of products that and their brand name and then they'll show you the category like maybe arts and crafts or automotive or whatever uh, the form it comes in like is it liquid is it aerosol is it you know what is it uh, and the percentage of the toluene in that product if it says 30 percent says 20 percent point one whatever <clears throat> then you can click on the brand name for the MSDS to see the percentages of other things that are in that same product, you know what I mean? To see if it's viable to even try to get the toluene out, you know what I mean? It might not be worth it, even if there's a lot in there. It might be mixed up with something that's hard to, you know, separate. <laughs> um, and then you just move on to the next product that has a high percentage. You click on the product name, and you see, is it easy to get out? Is there, you know, is there stuff that I can separate it easily from? You know, if it's just alcohol, let's say it says methanol, and uh, let's just say it says methanol. That's nice and easy. You can get it out. You know, put some water in it, soaks the methanol up, and you can put it in a sip funnel. But it might say that there's, you know, it's 90% xylenes and, uh, you know, or the lowest boiling xylene, so it's even closer to toluene. You're going to skip over that maybe and say, I don't want it. I don't want to deal with that, you know. And that's basically the whole thing of how you, you know, I didn't know about this when I was, you know, before. Uh, but now that I'm on a computer, this is how I look stuff up. So if I wanted something else, I wanted, uh, you know, uh, sodium acetate, I'd go to, <coughs> to that site, I'd hit ingredients, and I would hit on S instead of T. Scroll down to sodium acetate. Click on it, and then it'll give you a list of brand names. And I want a high percentage, you know what I mean? So I'll click on the ones that have high percentages. Now, not all of these, like I I looked up uh, set of aldehyde. Set of aldehyde, they give you like 10 products. All of them have like 1% or less. You know, they're fractions of a percent. So I'm not saying that it just tells everything. Obviously, it doesn't, you know. And some stuff, you know, they just don't put in products that you would buy at the store. You know what I mean? So you, you won't be able to find it. But uh, it is a very handy, useful tool. Um, this is, I think, it has gov in the name of the address. So, you know, if you're doing something illegal, you might not want to go there. But it doesn't even look like a government site. It looks like uh, you'd have to go there to see. But anyways, this... Now, if you're like me and you don't have a credit card, you know what I mean, it's hard to find buy stuff online, and you just want to go to your local store, and, you know, you want to get your chemicals there, what I do, like, I just go down to the hardware store, the pool store, or Walmart, or wherever you're going to go, or whatever, and I look to see what they have, you know what I mean? There's no sense looking up MSDSs on stuff that ain't in the store, right? So, I mean, if I want DCM, I'm going to look for strippers. If I want, uh, you know, floor strippers. If I want toluene, I'll look for something that's like uh, the paint thinner. 
or uh, you know to clean your paintbrushes with that kind of thing uh, you know what I'm saying and I will go see what they have we're at the auto parts store you know I know toluene is toluene is anything to clean stuff with you know it's a degreaser that's for sure um, and I would see what is there I'd write it down on a piece of paper you know, because they're not going to be like a million things, unless you go to the auto parts store, then there's a million things. But your local hardware store, there's usually only a few things that you can, you know what I mean, get stuff out of. I write them down, I go home, I look up the MSTS for the most current one I can find, and I see, can I, is it easy to get get it out? You know what I mean? Is there other stuff in there that's bulls are the same exact temperature as what I want? You know, is, is there things that I can't get out? Is it going to be a nice, simple, easy thing? And then I get the easiest one that I can. I, you know, I get it out of it and see how it goes. If it doesn't go good, and I, you know, then I'll try to maybe go an hour away from my house or 45 minutes away, because I really only have access to one hardware store and a couple, uh, you know, little mom and pop hardware stores. So I go, you know, maybe 45 minutes away, get to the next major hardware store like Ace Lowe's or whatever. And do it again. Write down the names of the stuff. I think there might be a lot of stuff in it. Go home. You know, a lot of stuff at the hardware store tells you exactly what's in it. Like methyl ethyl ketone, if you want that, the can says methyl ethyl ketone. If you want acetone, the can says acetone. You know what I mean? Um, so, just a little tip on how I go get chemicals or I find chemicals. This is the end of the video. I hope you all have a good day, and I always remember, science is great.